Think of a password manager like a fortress, housing all of your passwords. The encryption is a moat of acid, making the fortress not only impenetrable to robbers, but whatever information goes through this is indecipherable. And the key to unlock it all just so happens to be the unique master password you've created. Sure, understanding hypothetical analogies is easy. However, actually using a password manager is a bit more complicated. Storing, creating, sharing, and importing, those are the basics. But whatever the task you're wanting to do, I'll show you how to use a password manager simply. The first step would be getting the software onto your device. I'll be doing a NordPass tutorial as an example here, but most best password manager options nowadays will have apps that are easily downloadable, either from your relevant app store or the provider's website. The download should only take a few minutes, a couple clicks, and once it's on your computer, it's time for the installation. This generally involves launching a setup file that was previously downloaded and waiting for the installation process to complete. If you're using a Mac, you might need to drag and drop the file into the Applications folder before it can be launched. Before you start using the Password Manager, you'll need to create an account and a master password. Generally, you can follow the provider's prompts for account creation. With NordPass, I need to initially make a password for signup, use a login code, and then create a master password and receive a recovery code. It's vital these last two are stored somewhere safe and are a combination of complex characters in order to eliminate the chance of them being guessed by a cyber criminal. Remember, the recovery code is how you regain access if you forget your master password, so it's imperative that you set one up. Like many providers, NordPass uses a zero-knowledge architecture, so their staff can't even view your passwords if you happen to forget them. Once you have an account, let's take a look at how to create and save an entry for your online accounts with the app first. I've created a Facebook account for the sake of this demonstration, and here's the password that I need to store somewhere safely. So I'll copy it and head back to NordPass. Here, I can tap the plus button, enter the relevant information, paste the password, and hit save. If I now want to view that entry or any other stored password, I just head here. If I need to log into Facebook again, I simply tap copy and then head back to the Facebook login page where I paste my details and finally log in. You can use the app independently or download the free browser extension. I suggest doing so. Otherwise, you can't benefit from autofill. That's one of the most useful features, and it means that you don't need to open the app each time you need a password. This can be added from your account settings, where you'll be redirected to another page. Just choose the browser you'd like the extension on and follow the on-screen prompts. Alternatively, you can get it directly from the Password Manager website. To give you a little demonstration, this is the same process we did with the app, only with the extension. I've pinned it to my browser bar for easy access. As you can see, the extension automatically suggests the login information for my Facebook account, and I just tap one button to gain access. It's just as easy when saving new passwords, too. It will automatically ask whether I want new credentials to be saved and sync everything with my account. So, using a password manager is really as simple as that, and NordPass is arguably the easiest provider to get started with. If you haven't yet invested in any tools, be sure to use my discount link in the description or scan the QR code on screen now for the most updated, best pricing. Otherwise, let me expand a little in this password manager tutorial. A password generator is another integral part of any password management tool. It ensures I have a way to create strong, unique passwords for each account. Most work similarly, but NordPass lets me create passphrases that are easier to remember. If I want to create a password in this NordPass guide, I simply open the generator, specify the length and other parameters, and either click the copy button or add this as an entirely new entry by tapping here and saving it. Password sharing is equally important. Although maybe not something you'll do every day, password managers let you share entries, banking information, and notes securely with other users. It's all encrypted, so as you might imagine, it's a lot safer than sending that info in an email or message. Plus, NordPass uses one of the most modern encryption ciphers on the market. Doing this involves only a few clicks. Just find the item you want to share and hover over it. Next, tap the three dots and press Share. Finally, enter the recipient's email and how much access you want them to have before finally sharing. So what happens to all the other passwords you've stored in your browsers or other apps? Thankfully, these can be added using password importing. First, you'll need to get your passwords ready. 
and the methods will vary depending on where your passwords are stored. This could be anything from downloading them as a CSV file or exporting them from a specific browser. Just check the instructions online for your chosen method. But in this NordPass for Beginners tutorial, let me show you just how easy it is to import. Just tap the settings in the browser extension and it'll direct you to the web application where you can import passwords. From here, you can choose the method that suits your exported passwords. Now over here is the Data Breach Scanner, which scans online databases for any leaked email or credit card information that is linked to your account. In the event of a breach, it'll notify you. To get started, you just need to select Add Email and enter your information. After this, you select Start Scanning and begin to use the feature. You can add up to 50 credit cards too. Finally, there's the Passkey feature. This works as an additional authentication to your accounts and replaces traditional passwords. If you want to sign up for a new service online, first check if they support passkeys. Not all websites do so far. Next, find Create Passkeys, or a similar option, add your email or username, and confirm the prompt on your device to create a passkey. When you want to log into that account, you simply tap the suggested passkey, and that's it. It's said to be safer than apps or websites and more convenient instantly syncing between your devices. And with NordPass, you can share pass keys with other users too. Before I forget, these videos take time to make and edit. So if this tutorial helped you today, please subscribe to the channel and give it a like. It helps us create more content. As you can see, using a password manager only takes a little bit of learning, especially if you use a beginner-friendly option. My top recommendation in that regard would be NordPass, with its handy user guides and 24-7 support. Not to mention, it has an excellent security infrastructure. But if you're looking for something else, an alternative I suggest is 1Password, which is just as safe with a lot of functionality that's easy to understand. Thanks for watching this password manager guide. If you want to invest in a password manager today, be sure to check out the updated deals I've added for you. Thanks, and see you next time.